16-year-old Stella Ume, who trains at Gymnastics Mississauga, burst onto the scene on the eve of the Commonwealth Games. Now she missed her hand on the horse, and I've never seen Stella do that before. She's usually a very, very consistent vaulter. So what do you mean she missed her hand on the horse? This is a new trend of vault that started in 1985, and they're actually tumbling before they get onto the horse. And she actually missed one of her hands, which didn't allow her to get enough height to finish the vault. So a disappointing first vault for Stella Ume. I said she burst onto the scene on the eve of the Commonwealth Games. Monica Gavacci was out with a knee injury, and she came in and really performed very well. Actually, this, that was her best event. She opened up with a 9.9 .9 for the Canadian team. And of course, she gets a second chance, a much better vault. That's the way it should be done. The second vault for Stella Ume, and the same one, uh, much, much better. You know, Michael, gymnastics is not unlike any other sport or occupation for that matter. Nothing replaces hard work and dedication. But sometimes you have to be in the right place at the right time. The young lady we're about to meet was ready when her big break came along. January 1990, the eve of the Commonwealth Games in Auckland, New Zealand, and Monaco Kovacci injures her knee on the beam. With no time to spare, a call is made to Stella Ume back home. Well, the phone rang at 5 o'clock in the morning, and um, my coach said to me, Stell, do you want to go to Kamwa? I thought he was joking, and I said, that was, that's not a very nice joke, right? So uh, I said, yeah, whatever. And then he said, the only way I could go is if you hit routines this morning. So I went into gym, and I hit my routine because I really wanted to go. And then uh, I was all getting packed and everything, and, and he called me at 7 that night and said, oh, they might not need you. So I had to go through this thing with up and down again. So my sister took me out, I was crying. And uh, then we come back about 10 and I find out I'm going for sure. At first, the excitement and everything, it was okay. But then when it, it hit me and it really hit home, was when we were at the airport and we realized we were putting our little 14-year-old on an airplane halfway across the world alone. And no Alex, for once no Alex was there or nobody was there with her. And then I was worried. That was the first time really I got twinges. Despite a 24-hour flight and little preparation, Stella rose to the occasion, finishing ninth overall and sixth on the board. Yeah, I, I kind of surprised myself because I, I didn't really think I could do anything without training, so... It was my first games ever. I've never been to a games, only international meets, and it was, it was awesome. I had so much fun. She's natural. She is, she is a little monkey. Hmm? And Stella gets into a lot of trouble with her body language. I mean, she can tell you how she thinks about you, depending on the shrug of the shoulder or the twist of the head or whatever. She is quite adequate about body language, you know. Well, <laughs> I give nasty looks that sometimes don't even, that aren't even nasty looks. They're just looks. And I always get in trouble all the time. But she can get away with murder if she, if she wants to, you know, and she tries. But it depends on who she's trying it with, you know? Oh, I never, I never look badly at judges. I always smile and, and then they always take it the wrong way because I'm always smiling at them. Six days a week are spent in the gym, cutting into the active social life of a 15-year-old. But Stella doesn't think that she's missing much. Not really because when you go away, you can just have as many parties as you want away with new people. They're, they're never the same, actually. They're never the same people. And I, I don't think I miss anything because I do shopping just, just like everyone else, just in Europe. <laughs> I can brag that I went shopping in Europe, and uh, I, I, I don't think I'm missing anything. Just hanging out at malls, which is kind of boring, but... And there, of course, is Stella now as she prepares for the uneven bars. Now on the uneven bars here, Stella Ume, what are the judges looking for in particular? Well, on this event, they have to perform at least a minimum of 10 elements. They have to work both in the high bar, low bar. And that move that you just saw right there is called the Takachev. And it's one of the release moves that most international athletes will have in their routine. And here she's fulfilling her requirements, working down low on the low bar. Free up the handstand. And she moves back up to the high bar. 
out, and she's not allowed to do any more than four elements before she does a dismount. There's a giant swing, giant with a full turn, another giant swing with a split leg, into a dismount, double twist. Not a bad job. Great routine. She really stuck the landing, Stella Ume, just 15 years old. It's been a tough go so far for 15-year-old Stella Ume, just off a plane from Tokyo, and I think it's showing a bit. Well, Michael, you're in for a real treat, because if she does this floor routine like she's capable of doing, it's a dynamite floor, excellent tumbling, and this is a new floor to start to do. There's her opening, dynamite, full twisting double back. She's off to a great start. This second tumbling one. Run it back hands and whip to an immediate double top. Great difficulty there. I think she's feeling a lot better about things now. right into it with her as well, leading her all the way with even the moves. Um, that's a tough tumbling pass. The final one performed very well. Double tuck tummy. Love the routine. Wow, it was great. Energetic and busy. All kinds of movement and all the moves were there. Stella Ruman. Beautiful performance for the 15-year-old. worth going back to the replay of Stella's routine just for her mother's reaction as far as Patsy Ume is concerned, it's a 10.